After weeks of silence, we finally get a clue on the next character. We analyze that clue and speculate on who it is. And I give my thoughts on the current dry spell that's happening with the game. All that and more on this week's GGG MK Mobile News Update. <laughs> And we are back. Welcome back, everybody, to a GGG MK Mobile News Update week of March 14th through the 18th. And it has been, I gotta i gotta apologize, it's been a hot minute since I've done one of these. But everybody, there's been nothing to talk about. This game has been dry. There's been a dry spell in this game, and we will talk about that later. I'll give you my thoughts on that. But yeah, there's just been nothing, to, honestly, to talk about. Um, ever since they took away the Cold War Tower and brought in the Dark Queen's Tower, about the only amazing thing that i really have to offer is the fact that i actually got an mk11 night wolf out of that tower so i'm pretty freaking happy about that obviously uh the new diamond characters are super hard to get um actually any characters even the gold ones so i was really happy to get uh, that but today finally finally after weeks and weeks and weeks of just dead silence straight up crickets coming from um the mk mobile team over there at nether realm we finally today finally march 16th got a little hint of who's coming next and let's go to their twitter page real quick and i'll show you exactly what i'm talking about okay everybody, here we are mortal Kombat mobile's twitter twitter page and check this out just happening today right here hurricane season is coming to mortal Kombat mobile and i think we all know what that means that bo raicho is getting his own tower no of course of course we know that what that means it is obviously mk11 fujin is finally coming to the game and it is no surprise yeah it's no surprise this character was ranked as what the third or fourth most wanted character maybe even yeah anyways Corru corrupted shinnok i believe was ahead of him but i don't think they're going uh, the corrupted shinnok way i've already i've already mentioned that in a previous video but yeah so he was really wanted by the community they're still sticking to that list everybody they're still sticking to that list and this is definitely this is definitely him coming so check this out you guys Hurricane season is coming to Mortal Kombat Mobile. Only thing I can think of. Um, maybe they're doing like a like a Storm God Tower, something like that. More than likely, it's probably going to be like an Elder God Tower or something to that effect. But who knows? Uh, regardless of the theme of the tower, we're definitely getting MK11 Fujin for sure. I can I will bet money on that. Um, and along with that, there's going to come new brutalities. So I think just just talking here. I think that we're going to see Nightwolf get a Brutality, and I think possibly Sindel get a Brutality, because those are the newest characters, so they're going to want to try to hype those characters up even more and try to sell more of them. But then I think they're going to throw in another Brutality for a character that most people have, because that way you'll be more enticed to buy that um, that equipment. So maybe somebody like Dark Fate Terminator or Terminator, or possibly Devora, or possibly like Aaron Black. Because if you start looking through the characters, a lot of them already do actually have brutalities. Um, if you just start going through the list here. So, or they're possibly gonna do something totally different. Maybe they're gonna add fatalities, I don't know. But we definitely know for a fact, MK11 Fujin is on his way. Okay, with that, let's speculate a little bit on this image that we're looking at right here. Um, I asked uh, the fact that we know MK11 Fujin is coming. I want to know any guesses on what his passive might be. So I had some really good uh, responses here. Um, Bizarre Carmine said, I can imagine something involving wind on tag in, tag out, or a chance to prevent from tagging out. That's very possible. Um, let's see here. JT, rinsing debuffs is the first thing that comes to mind. I was thinking that too, just because of his, uh, isn't his support card, Fujin's Boon, has something to do with that. Could be wrong, but I was kind of thinking that in my head too. Um, maybe teammates also get the ability to rinse debuffs on special attacks. Very possible, JT, but I think I'm gonna go with Mammoth No Game and Ed Con here. They, they're both both basically saying that if you look, you can see a sequential number here, one through five, and each time, each number gets higher, the wind or the, it just has like a more uh, powerful looking blade, kind of. So I think it's gonna be a passive that gets stronger, just like Fire God Liu Kang's. Um, and who else had one? They, they, this has kind of been, well here, let's read, let's read Manitone Games here. Basically, both Fire Guard Lucane and Classic Rain, that was the other one, have passives that stack power. That's what we're trying to say here. Uh, seems to be a trend with new characters, exactly. Uh, his guess is that, like them, Fujin's passive will stack from one to five and function like the Sapphire Dagger with an increased level of damage the longer a Fujin stays tagged in. That's, that's what he's guessing. I think you're probably right. 
think you're absolutely right. I think that's just whoever's creating those passes have been kind of consistent with that. So I could totally see that. And uh, everybody, thank you for your responses too. I really appreciate that. And finally, to wrap things up, back at the game here. And I just want to kind of give my thoughts on why this game has seemed pretty stale lately. There's been no um, like communication really coming from the team at all. It's just kind of been stale. There's, you know, we're seeing the same uh, challenges come out over and over again. Um, it's just taking them longer, it feels like, to get out new content. Um, and guys, I've been coming up, I'm coming up on seven years straight playing this. This is a pretty common cycle. And I really think um, it's kind of uh, even more noticeable now because I think that they have people now working on a different game completely. I think they pulled resources from the MK Mobile team to work on a totally different, possibly console game or mobile game altogether. Maybe it's Mortal Kombat 12, maybe it's a new Injustice game, maybe it's a mashup of both of them. But I think that's what we're feeling here. Um, could be totally wrong, but I've seen these cycles come and go. In fact, I even put out a video four years ago talking about if mkx mobile was dead it's just we've seen i've seen this over and over again um that, but i think that's possibly what we're feeling now let me know in the comments what you think but i think i think they'll snap out of it but that's what i'm thinking i don't know i'm just blabbing here but anyways that's it you guys i will keep you guys updated with as much information as i can as it comes out and again, sorry for the delay, but honestly, guys, there's just been nothing to talk about. <laughs> I think you all understand that, too. So with that, everybody, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye. Thanks for listening, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the MK Mobile Podcast. The MK Mobile Podcast can be found on Apple Podcasts as well as Spotify. And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe to me on YouTube as well as follow me on Twitter at GameTimeGaming1, where you'll find MK Mobile information, gameplay, and more. Hey, guys. I had a crazy night with a girl the other day. You guys want to hear about it? Okay. Well, it started just like this, baby. Why don't we go back to the back gate, baby? Back and chill out with some Netflix, baby. Maybe we'll just get back that meal, baby. She's like, what? What? Ain't no way. Let's talk about his general day. Be in real with those pedals, hey. That's my name. See what I'm saying? Well, my damn girl, it's all right. I see how you work that shit tight. Meet Jim Beers, my kitchen with all of us. I'm still back.